Yeah, here is a nice traditional house on stilts. It's presumably come hell or high water. It's good to be on stilts. It's uh, unusually beautiful because it has some other colors than the brownish, which is most common on buildings here, on the traditional ones. See, like over here. The traditional one, yeah. And here is a hotel. With a nice garden. Okay. Ah, here we got the building with, I would say, character. Classical job. Make a tin roof, a little of blue paint. I like that. We make a 380 or 360 rather, maybe. Hello. If we can survive here, hello, kids. Coming on bicycles here. We're in the southern end of Nyongsui village or town. It's also a nice looking hotel, nice looking building. Flowers here, a Golden Empress Hotel. It's fairly new, I think. I've been coming and going here, or revisiting here through 17 years, maybe six times. There's a bit of a hideous building, I think. Looks more like it should be in Regent Street or something, but it's in. The well, oh, in the village here, so. Now yeah, back at the uh, building with character. Yeah, we call it a thatched roof and bamboo paneled walls in Nyongsui. Newer hotel there, there is a traditional building there. Another one here, large yeah. green hotel. They're working up there on another building. It's a Sunday afternoon. And building here like there is no tomorrow, maybe. There's a metal paneled uh, red building, uh, classical there, maybe a hotel over there, red one. And the kids are playing here. the building with character I would say. There's a roaster walking there, a little on the left down in the picture. Yeah. Maybe it's haunted. Ah, here's the same building from another angle. Ah, it's, things are straight everywhere probably because the, the ground isn't holding very well so the pillars and things sink into the ground it happens especially with our buildings uh, partly built in the river they have to be propped up now and then yeah look here is it braided uh, what do we call them the water panels Note the little shuttered window there on stilts, one and a half meter. That is, can be high water levels here uh, near Inle Lake and near Inle River. I was here 
some years ago then many streets in the town was over flooded yes here we got the uh, accommodation uh, it's right on the river I'll show you later I just walked in and asked as usual if foreigners could stay here can stay cannot uh, the price is 5,000 local dollars which is four US dollars but you, you can sit there on your little what do we call it terrace or and watch the river life go left and right So here are all the boats which usually takes tourists, also locals, out on the lake. Many people live on the lake, many things are produced on the lake and many things are taken to the lake. There is the only bridge in town. Star Hotel, three years old something. Ah, look here is Telenor, that's a telecom company, Norwegian. So somebody or they have rented out. Uh, off the facade to Telenor, but I like this, they have still windows in there, you see, now one window is open there and two are closed, so they, they don't lose all the daylight or all the contact with, uh, with nature. Ah, nice little house. There's one of the streets, the bigger ones, some your house there. Let me walk up to the front and see how it looks from there. Yes, beautiful. See some you say wild flowers are growing there on the rail, whatever you would call it.